Hey everybody, this is Charlie with CompetitiveEdgeProducts.com. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the 316 adjustable spalling brackets. You're in the right place if you have one of these five applications. If you're putting it on a three and a half inch round pole, a four inch square pole, a flat wall, flat roof, or a pitched roof. This graphic here, for example, shows it mounted to a four inch square pole on the left, a flat wall in the center, and a pitched roof on the right. Now for the big question, do you need to drill any holes? If it's being mounted to a three and a half inch round pole or a four inch square pole, no, you don't. It comes with both of these brackets and they are received by the opposite end of the mounting bracket. Okay, but what if I'm mounting it to my roof, you're thinking, or a wall, or a concrete wall for that matter? That's a good question. It does not come with that hardware. It comes with all the other hardware, but not the actual hardware to mount it into those types of surfaces, just because there's so many different types of surfaces. So in those situations, we highly recommend that you get some expert advice, take the instruction manual to Home Depot or Lowe's. They'll tell you exactly what type of hardware you need for your specific application. This is how you find the instruction manual. Just go ahead and click the instruction tab on the very right and it will take you to the instructions. The instructions are very thorough. The instruction manual is done really well. It has, of course, uh, the tools that are needed to assemble this along with all the warnings, a parts list. And again, I think the most intimidating part are for people who are mounting it to a wall or a roof, uh, just figuring out exactly what hardware you need for your specific application. Now, if you've decided these brackets are for you, your next question is going to be what backboards work with these brackets. If you scroll down and click on this compatibility chart, it will show you the types of brackets available at the top, and then the column on the left shows the backboards that are available and whether or not they're compatible. With these particular brackets, 316, the backboard in the upper left is the most popular. If you click on that, it will take you to that on our website. Go ahead and add it to your cart, continue checkout, and you're good. And by the way, one of the reasons this is our most popular spalding bracket is because it is the most rigid, the most sturdy. The way to adjust it isn't by gravity using a broomstick and, and pushing it up and clicking the bracket and letting it pop back down. This uses a crank. It comes with a rod. You grab that from your garage, put it on the hook, spin it to the right to raise it, left to lower it, and you're good. Then you take the rod, pull it off, put it in your garage, and it looks fantastic. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up button for me. And if you have any questions, please comment below. And again, for those who have experience mounting items to walls, roofs, and these types of applications, please feel free to chime in. Your expertise would be greatly appreciated in this forum. Visit us at competitiveedgeproducts.com.